Hello again, human beings from the planet Earth. We're here at the website of the Kennett Middle School here in Conway, New Hampshire, where two of my sons attend, or did, will, until tomorrow. I just got off the phone with this man, their principal, Kevin Richard, who is responsible for all operations of the middle school, sole administrator in charge of personal development, budget development, program initiatives, evaluation, student discipline, renovation process, and building maintenance. And I am horrified at what this man just told me. Now, I think you all know my opinion of middle school, I mean of, of public school, rather. Um, they do most children an injustice. Uh, the kids that have issues or, or special needs, uh, they're only there for the funding. And uh, my middle son, Joseph, is uh, tough to handle um, in a school setting. It's always been a struggle. But with certain techniques, Joseph can be very productive. The middle school has not followed uh, what I insisted uh, must be followed for Joseph's behavior to be controlled. And this man, just a little while ago on the phone, which I wish I had recorded, and I will hold him accountable... He verbally said that he would repeat the statement to his superiors, which I will insist that he do. But this man told me that Joseph was uh, not near the phone, which he's, when he has a discipline problem, the routine is he is made to come to the phone and be accountable and call me. I talk to him, I redirect him, remind him of uh, the consequences, uh, give him some encouragement, and he goes back and he finishes his day. It always works. Mr. Richard himself, several weeks ago, called me and left a voicemail. He was so excited that when he implemented my strategies, Joseph went on to have a great day. Now, just in a few short weeks, this man tells me that my son had him boxed in a corner, and he could do nothing. Now, boxed in a corner, not physically, folks. My son didn't have a knife try to stab him. We mean by verbally controlling the situation. My 11 year a 12 year old son controlled this man who's in control of the entire school unacceptable I let mr. Richard know that today will be Joseph's last day I will hold the school responsible for the cost involved to educate my child at home and I'm reaching out to any of you in the Conway school district area anyone that has had any issues whether it be at the elementary school the middle school the high school if you're in SAU 9 to follow suit it's time that we protect our children and educate our children now I know this isn't possible for everybody but I will make myself available to the extent that I can to help you we need to get these special needs kids out of the school system when special need kids control adults that have college educations are in positions of supreme authority and like I just highlighted responsible for student discipline and then they give me comments like your son is uh, not here he's cooling off in a room well he just got to get out of his work by swearing a little bit basically um, he had me boxed in a corner. <laughs> Unacceptable, Mr. Richard. Unacceptable. I will hold you accountable for your statements to me on the phone. Normally I record these conversations that I wasn't able to this time. Lucky for you, I didn't. I want to remind you, Mr. Richard, and any of the staff there, that wordplay does not work with me. Excuses do not work with me. They're unacceptable. I always hold my children accountable, and you know that from my communications with you so far. But as of tomorrow, my children will be pulled from the school system. I will begin the process to homeschool them, and I will hold the school district responsible for the cost of that education. And 
anyone else that is in a position where they're frustrated with the public schools, and even if it isn't here in Conway, I'd be glad to help you with research and ideas and ways that you can help your children. A lot of us are out of work right now. we got nothing better to do anyway. Let's focus on our kids. So anyway, please share this video with everybody, whether they're in the Conway School District or not, but especially if they are in the Conway School District. Because, first of all, they're not teaching our kids. Our children don't n know that this country is a corporation. <laughs> they don't know that. Um, I bet none of them can recite the Constitution or the Bill of Rights. Uh, other public schools have told our children the same thing that Obama told them, that no radiation was coming here, yet radiation falls in the rain and falls on their food. And rumor has it, Mr. Richard, that you're known as the Twinkie Man, that when children get sent to your office, they, rec they receive a Twinkie. I haven't proven this to be fact, but I will get testimony from people that will prove that to be fact that you not only cannot discipline your students but you feed them things that have preservatives that make them last for twenty years I'm sure that's real good and I told you before that sugar aggravates the situation with my son so uh... It, god forbid I find out you did give him a twinkie at any time I will sue you for that personally sir anyway to my supporters youtubers twitterers facebookers human beings Thank you for your support. Expect regular updates. Um, I'll be updating you through this whole process, and I will be contacting the school board as soon as I put a few of my ducks in the row. Um, but I, I do intend to follow through, homeschool my children, and hold the school district accountable for the cost. That is my right. That is my duty as a parent, and you can expect me to follow through.